Hello, and welcome to this PowerFX tutorial on how to add Apple Loops to GarageBand. Apple Loops from PowerFX contains special file information that lets you search for sounds by key, tempo, or feeling in GarageBand's Loop Browser window. But before you can do that, you'll need to add the loops to your Apple Loops library. This quick tutorial explains how. Once you've downloaded your selected Apple Loops product from PowerFX, you'll need to add it to GarageBand so that the loops show up in the program's Loop Browser. To do this, open GarageBand and select a new or existing project. If it's not already open, click the button to open the Loop Browser window. Next, drag the folder containing the loops to the Loop Browser window in GarageBand. You may be asked to enter your password. GarageBand then moves all the loops to the Apple Loops folder on your hard disk and indexes them. The folder containing the loops you've just added will appear in the User Loops subfolder, complete with its original name. You can now search for the loops you've just added in GarageBand. If you can't see the loops in the Loop Browser, first try clicking the Reset button in the Keyword field, and then select one of the keywords that fit the kind of loops you've just added. If that doesn't work, the loops you've added may be out of tempo or key range for the current project. In that case, go to GarageBand Preferences and click on Loops. Then, uncheck the Filter for More Relevant Results box, your loops should now appear in the Loop Browser. Thank you for watching this PowerFX tutorial. To view other tutorials, please visit the PowerFX Resources page, located at powerfx.com forward slash resources. PowerFX, your premium online sound resource.